Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2020 action thriller Survive the Night, a film that is directed by Matt Escandare and it stars Chad Michael Murray, Bruce Willis, Lydia Hull, Tyler John Olsen and Shea Buckner. Now this is a film that focuses on two criminals, two fugitives who... Um, during an, uh, an act of robbery, one of them gets shot in the leg. Um, however, they can't just go to a normal hospital as they would be caught by the police. So, they tail Chad Michael Murray's character, who is a disgraced doctor who has been forced like, to move to the country uh, after a lawsuit. Um, and they tail him home from his hospital job to his um, country house. And they basically hold him and his family hostage and force Chad Michael Murray's character to repair the damage to uh, this fugitive's leg, these, the, the, the brothers these fugitives, to repair the damage to the gunshot wound in his leg. Um, otherwise, uh, there will be serious repercussions for the family members. Bruce Willis's character plays a retired, I think it's a retired a local sheriff, quite a legendary a retired local sheriff who's at odds with his son um, who is part of this hostage situation right that's basically the premise of the film that we're talking about here now what what did I think of survive the night uh, it's all right it's watchable I guess it, it, it didn't offer anything new anything exciting um, it, it's it, it's kind of everything in this film you've seen it done time and time again in other films bet in, in other better films um, it, but it's one of those that you could put on very disposable film you watch it you're done with it you'll forget about it instantly um, and it will certainly not be one of those Bruce Willis films that he will be remembered fondly for I just I, I've reviewed quite a lot of Bruce Willis films in the last couple of years and I, I just can't get my head around what he's doing these days whether he's lost his passion for acting, whether he realizes what he's doing is harming his legacy of the great films that he's going to he has done previously, um, and some of the films that I have seen him do over the last few years have been terrible, and his performances have been very questionable. Now, in actual fact, his performance and appearance in this film is um, to is not as bad as I've seen. Is the best way to describe it don't get me wrong he doesn't own the screen here and I, I, you do scratch your head to some degree as to why he's in the film because it doesn't do an awful lot really and it, it just seems it just seems an odd choice for him why he would take this film on why the way takes these films on these straight to streaming and video on demand films straight to supermarket shelf dvds blu-rays why why he does it really I, I, he just keeps churning out the movies about three or four a year of these low budget f films like this I, I've, I'm, I'm going on a tangent a bit I just don't understand it because he's better than this is Bruce Willis but that's not to say that he's terrible in this I've seen him far worse but um, he's, he, he's okay um, Chad Michael Murray who plays the the son of Bruce Willis and the doctor in question uh, again he's okay I don't know an awful lot about much of Michael Murray but he does a decent enough job um, and at times there is reasonable tension building going on with the family dynamics as to um, who is going to live and die because very early on somebody's killed in this hostage situation so it, the idea of that is to think well nobody's safe now um, and that kind of works I suppose now the two brothers, the two criminals, the two fugitives in question, all I kept thinking about, all the, their dynamic reminded me of uh, from Dust Till Dawn, you know, the George Clooney, Quentin Tarantino relationship, then two fugitives on the run there. Now, don't get me wrong, there's no vampires involved in this film, but I mean their relationship and dynamic. You've got one who's a little bit level headed in that film and this, and you've got one that's a bit of a lunatic in that film and this. And also in From Dust Till Dawn, it all kicks off in a um, convenience store at the beginning of the film. Uh, and it happens again in this film. You know, that's that's where one of them gets shot in the leg. Um, so, 
the parallels are very obvious to me in regards to that their relationship and stuff it's just okay imagine from dusk till dawn but without the vampires I suppose and the fun and the enjoyment um, it's just a very very bog standard action thriller here they throw in a car chase for no apparent reason because it ends up leading back to the house anyway um, they throw in a couple of chase sequences here and there a couple of hand to hand sequences here and there to try and beef up the action um, and it, it's alright you know what I mean um, I don't know I don't really know what else to say about this film um, it's just a very very disposable film that is certainly not going to set your world on fire it certainly didn't mind but in regards to Bruce Willis films um, I've seen him do these films before and it's like 10 minute 15 minute cameo um, he is quite prominent in this film is in it throughout Bruce Willis um, but you know it doesn't stand out certainly as a classic Bruce Willis film I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 it's it, it's it's straight down the middle for me uh, mediocre watchable film that nobody will remember when they've watched um, uh, but yeah that's my review for Surviving the Night I hope you enjoyed it I hope you found it useful thank you very much for watching everybody and of course I'll see you back for more reviews on Screen Stars very very soon